right, so we'll do a little demo showing off the M5 launcher, switching between firmwares, makes it really nice and easy. You hit the reset button, it's gonna take you back to that bootloader, you hit enter, and then you can scroll through, select all the different bin files you've got downloaded. So let's see, so I'm just gonna go ahead start with just the audio spectrum one just to get something quick oh, it takes a little bit to load but it's nice having all of the firmwares available just loaded up on the SD card so you're done with this so let's say you turn it off turn it back on if you don't hit enter it's gonna automatically load back into whatever that last firmware you had loaded was so we can go ahead and turn it off, turn it on, hit that enter. Now we can go ahead and scroll through, select any of the other firmwares we want to. Now we'll go ahead and check out the mini car one from Volos. That's how I ended up switching over to the M5 launcher. He posted a video a couple days ago with the, uh, the mini car. What else? there's like a little game on there as well and yeah i mean it's got some nice little things you got your horn you got your blinkers you got your lights on and off with the gas All right. I think my favorite firmware so far, just in terms of the UI, has to be the User Demo Plus. I'm really hoping we can get all these other firmwares loaded on here as apps. I think that would look really nice. Yeah, this is one of the ones that takes the longest to load for sure. And then I do need to go and make my own version of it so I can save it with my Wi-Fi already saved in there. So it's on a list of things to do.